Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Steve Saviak from Vallejo Pharma. How are you today, Steve? Very well, Tracy, and good to be back on your Investor Intel uh, newsfeed. So, Steve, congratulations are, are in order. Record annual revenues for fiscal 2021. Let's start with your revenue numbers. Well, for our year end is October. So for October 31st, 2021, we generated $13.6 million of revenue, which is an 81% increase over the prior year. And as importantly, the last six months of the year, we generated $9 million of revenue, which suggests a run rate now of over $20 million for value. I'm going to ask you what every person out there at Investor Intel was going to ask you is thinking right now, which is why isn't your stock moving to reward you for these incredible numbers? That's a question that I scratched my, myself, uh, my head also. I think our, our valuation is very conservative compared to our peers. Um, and uh, it's being on programs such as yours, where we try to get the message out that we're a revenue commercial stage company with significant opportunity and growth ahead of us this year, not in three, four years, but we're currently undergoing this. And uh, your viewers will start seeing this with our quarterly numbers. Uh, first quarter will be re announced within the next month. Um, and uh, hopefully uh, as we expand our shareholder base, it'll start reflecting in a, in a more, uh, more uh, reasonable share price vis-a-vis -vis, uh, what we think the true value of the company is. So let's go back to your revenue numbers. You were talking about your, your incredible lift in the last six months in particular. What would you attribute that to? Well, six months before the year end, we launched our three major uh, and key products. These are the products that are really transforming value. The first was Redesca, which we launched at the end of April. And then the, the following that in September, we launched Enerzerna Tectura, two innovative asthma therapies. So Redesca did uh, contribute significantly to our revenues in the last half of the year. Enerzerna Tectura, our asthma therapies, had only a couple of weeks of revenue. So we are going to start seeing stronger quarter over quarter revenue growth. We continue to, to maintain that these three products for the next several years will be the revenue drivers. Uh, and it's an exciting time at Valio uh, with products that are truly world-class um, addressing the Canadian marketplace. And of course, prior to this interview, you and I were talking about the huge investment that you've been doing in staffing actually recently to accommodate the demand you're having. Can you talk to us about this? With these strong revenue projections that we have, we expect that with the current products we have, we should be able to exceed $100 million of revenue within the next four, four and a half years. To do so, you need to have a commercial team. Uh, we're over 100 employees, over 70 are front are doctor or professional facing. So they actually go out to in the field, they're uh, uh, meeting physicians, pharmacists, hospital administrators, hospital nurses. Um, it's a huge investment we've made. So when you look at our loss, our loss was bigger in the fourth quarter, but that was a loss that was is more properly characterized as an investment because it's actually setting the stage for this revenue growth that we're now current, which is currently underway. So there's, there's no magic bullet in selling products. You have to put feet on the ground, even with, you know, virtual uh, interactions and what have you, you still need the people to be in front of the physicians. Uh, we've done that. It's uh, it's a conscious decision we've made to, to uh, invest a significant sums um, uh, well over $10 million on the commercial side. And that the payback will be the strong revenue growth. So we're going to expect for this year and for years to come, actually. And of course, many people out there may not be aware of the fact this is not your first rodeo. You have built other companies and done this before. Is that correct? Yes, we uh, Valio has been around since it was created in 2003 by myself and several other colleagues. Uh, we built a portfolio of assets, which we sold to Valiant Canada, which is now Bosch Health in 2014 for approximately $27 million. We took those proceeds and we reinvested in what is today Valio as we know it. So uh, yes, we've done it before. The, we have a very strong uh, management team and uh, I would say a mid-tier commercial team. We, we put ourselves out there with companies significantly uh, bigger than us in terms of our commercial capabilities, 
um, and we aspire to to reach those ranks uh, starting this year. And of course, if you're interested in finding out more about Vallejo, please do go to their website. Please do read this particular news release. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong here, Steve, we've got awards you received last year. Are there any other highlights that you'd like to draw our audience's attention to? I would say some of the, the, the strong fundamentals that we're showing are reimbursement. So the provinces, as you know, in Canada, each province manages its own healthcare budget. The provinces are, are, are increasingly agreeing to pay for these drugs, which is a, a major uh, milestone. We announced Ontario last week, go back the week before. So we have over 80% of Canadian lives are now covered by some type of private or public insurance coverage, which is really fantastic and is, is key for all drugs uh, being sold across Canada. Going forward, uh, quarterly results, uh, we, we see sequential growth quarter over quarter. Um, we are attempting to list, uh, we've applied to list for the Toronto Stock Exchange. We expect to have some news on that within the next four to six weeks. Um, and uh, just we'll continue to keep our shareholders abreast of all the, the, the wins we have on a commercial front or on potential uh, new products uh, that will be added to our portfolio. Well, Steve, thank you so much for the update. And just confirm for me again, did I just hear that you will be listing on the TSX? We, well, we've applied for listing on the TSX. It's ultimately the TSX that decides. Uh, but clearly what we want to do is get to improve our trading platform, accessibility to investors, both in Canada, US and in Europe. Um, and a more senior exchange is, I think, fitting for our company, given that the revenue growth and the direction that we're going. Thank you, Steve, for joining us today. Thank you very much, Tracy.